Join me today for a quick overview on a couple of liquid polymer clays that I like to use. Stay tuned and hear my thoughts. All right, today in our, our Polymer Clay 101 series, I thought I would take a few minutes and just give you a basic overview of a couple of the liquid polymer clays that I like to use. This is a brand new bottle of Translucent Liquid Sculpey, and this is a bottle of Clear Cato Liquid Clay. These are the two my two go-to liquid polymer clays. Uh, Sculpey does have other products. They have Bacon Bond. They have a, one that I have never tried before called Liquid Polymer Clay. This is my tried and true one, and I've used Bacon Bond. I don't really see a lot of difference in it, but there may be. I don't know. Not that I noticed when I was playing with it. This can be expensive. This little tiny 2-ounce bottle was $9.99, but of course I had a 40% off coupon, so that helps. But this is used for a lot of things. And by the way, this one, I don't remember how much I paid for it. I got it two or three years ago at Hobby Lobby when I was on vacation. And it's I haven't I've used it quite a bit and there's still a lot in there. So this stuff does go a lot of a long, long ways. So what do we use po liquid polymer clay for? Well, the thing I use it for the most is actually to well, I use it for two things the most. There's not really one. I use it to glue clay together. When I'm partially baking a piece, like I make a part a project and I bake that portion and then I add raw clay to that and bake that, I usually use a liquid clay to help adhere. It acts kind of as a baked in glue. And that's really where I use it the most. It's also used to soften clay. Now if you have really hard clay you can add some liquid polymer clay to it to make it softer. This is not super hard. This is just some my scrap clay I keep on my tray, but I thought I would show you. Uh, I'm going to use my fingers today, but you can use a tool so you don't get your fingers all sticky because this stuff is very sticky. But you can work it in. It makes the clay much softer. And this is one way to make things like frosting for your polymer clay. Uh, cakes and things. You can thin this down to almost a liquid consistency. Basically make it a frosting consistency. And you can spread it. Just add more of the liquid clay. So those are the two places it's used the most. When you bake off translucent liquid Sculpey, it is, it's not clear, it's translucent, it's cloudy looking. On the other hand, that's the beauty of the Cato clay. Kato liquid clay is clear and when I made the gummy bears on this channel I used the liquid Kato clay. That stuff looks so cool when it's baked up. So it's used a lot. You can color this with chalks. You can color, you can add it to clay and make a thinner version or you can use a uh, tube oil paints. One of the things I see a lot on YouTube is people using tube acrylic paints to color their polymer, their liquid clays, you shouldn't. That's a big no-no according to the clay manufacturers because acrylic paint always has water in it. Water and polymer clay do not mix. They Water can bubble and it can do some really bad things to your project. It can make it explode in your oven. Oil paint is only used in liquid clay. It's not used with solid clays. But it, you've seen me do that in the gummy bear video. I used oil paints to color the, uh, the liquid clay, and it looked really cool. You can also use chalks, like I said. Uh, but these are, they come in a tube. They've got a lid. They've got a, a squeeze top. Uh, they're really easy to use. You don't need much. And then it just bakes right along at the same temperature as your clay. This one does call for a higher temperature, but it bakes just fine at the lower temperature. Now liquid Sculpey has kind of a matte-ish finish when it's baked. The uh, 
keto clay is shiny so it will you can glaze with it which is really nice so that's just a little bit about how to use these we'll go into more detail in other videos I'll show you how to color it and how to use it for different things but this is just an overview thanks for watching I'll talk to you later bye